Starting from its grand opening in 1902, the Mount Beacon Incline Railway brought passengers from a small city on the shores of the Hudson River to an elevation of 1,200 feet on top of Mount Beacon. With a maximum gradient of 74%, the railway was the steepest passenger funicular in the world at the time. At the top, the Mount Beacon Casino and Beacon Crest Hotel provided amenities to visitors many of whom had journeyed up the Hudson from New York City to escape into the idyllic scenery of the region. Beautiful panoramic views of the Hudson Valley because could be seen from the railway and the summit. In its first year, the railway sold 60,000 fares, and by 1922, that number had nearly doubled. Financial troubles eventually led to the end of the railway in 1978, while the abandoned structures were added to the National Registry of Historic Places in 1982. A year later, a fire, blamed on the vandals, destroyed part of what remained. Today, the Incline Railway and Summit buildings lie in ruins. And if we hike a little further, about six and a half miles, we can make it to the fire tower. So come along and join me on this hike, and I'll see you at the top. Welcome back everybody. Today, as you notice, some railroad tracks. Um, I am at the base of a mountain and uh, this place was built in 1902 and basically it's a railway or an incline that went all the way up about 1200 feet to take passengers up to a casino and in a, in a hotel. So um, we're going to hike that today and I'll show you some ruins and then go a little beyond that. So let's go. basically greeted with some ruins and I imagine this to be like the little house that used to be here maybe you would actually connect on to the um, little cart that took you all the way up to the mountain we're not gonna walk up the tracks right here they've provided some stairs um, that you can walk up that's before you even get to the trail what do you see this this is gonna be one heck of a crazy adventure all right, off we go. And when I say we, I mean you and me. All right, so as you can see, there's about a million stairs here, give or take. I'm sure that's an accurate um, count. But uh, anyways, they provided the staircase to actually bring you to the trail. This isn't even the trail. And then it kind of loops around to the side and brings you up to the mountain. And alongside of it, is the railway so a cart would have been in there and it would have taken you all the way up to the mountain and let's go check it out <laughs> here we go talk about getting some cardio it's about, I don't know, 6.30 in the morning. It's about 50 degrees and uh, it's supposed to be nicer out. I'm kind of hoping that's the case. And uh, let's keep it moving. So this is just at the top of the stairs right here. You know, a little morning cardio. And um, it's a little wet, obviously, because uh, some of the rain that we've gotten here in the Northeast. And now the actual trail begins. 
So this is the beginning of the trail. And I'll see you up there. It's a little, a little muddy here and there, but oh well. It's nice and quiet. Oh, it's like a river. Whew, pardon being out of breath, but that right there for, I don't even know what it is. It looks like the base. Maybe it could have been a light, who knows? But that's like the first sign of something was up here. So, Literally, it's a windy trail. It's uh, got some switchbacks, left, right, left, right, trying to get all the way up there. And uh, I'm so out of breath, but it's so worth it. I'd show you a view, but there really isn't one right now. You know what I mean? There's nothing really here. So continue on to the top we go. And when I say we, I mean you and I. Oh my God, this is insane. Uh, this trail is rated as difficult and it's not so much that, uh, you know, the trail, it's, it's, it's not that it's like that steep, it's 1200 feet. It's just that the grade, the grade is like seriously steep. I feel like I'm just like leaning forward. <laughs> He's still with me. Oh my God, this is crazy. Alright, just walking up the trail, I found this. It was just kind of lodged in between these rocks right here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe it went on a, a pole or something like that. But it's obviously a bracket. It held something in place. Pretty cool. Nice little relic. Alright, so I'm coming around the corner. That is the first signs of ruins so basically we're just about at the top and that right there would have been the machine that pulled the cart that came up the side of the mountain to bring the passengers up to the casino and the hotel here so i think i'm going to go this way and bring it around the other side and show you these awesome ruins i was here a couple years ago and it was, uh, it's been on my mind to come back here for a long time and I've wanted to do that for so long. So finally I get the opportunity to do that and uh, I'm happy to bring you along with me. The ride was about three and a half hours, although it took me almost four hours because sometimes I like to stop, you know, it's all about the road trip. I have anxiety, so sometimes I freak out on the road and I just have to stop and get my bearings and move on. But, you know, it is what it is. Wow. This is so cool. See you at the top. To my left is the ruins I just showed you. And what I'm coming up on now um, is the old hotel ruins. But I'm just going to wait a second and bring it around the other side first. Oh, boy. All right. Look at this. This is amazing. Now, when I say the term rusty relic, this is what you want to see. This was worth the hike. It took about an hour, about an hour and 20 minutes just to get to this point. But I'm going to continue on and show you a lot of the sites that's along the way. This is the actual plant, or the this is the actual station that would have powered the incline railway. Look at this big behemoth of a beast. Awesome, right? Guys, I don't know if you can see that right there, but a little bit of the rail is left. amazing here's the bricks um, 
It looks like it says DPBW. Absolutely amazing. So this would have pulled the actual car that came up the side of the mountain to bring the passengers up. And it's absolutely amazing. Like I was saying, the, the hike to get up here is rated difficult and that's basically because of the grade. It's so steep. So that's another reason why they had this in place. You wouldn't expect your guests to walk 1200 feet to their destination. Oh yeah, check this out. Wow. Alright. So that was the the little station, the little incline railway pulley system. And this is the hotel ruins. Um, the information will be down in the description if you want to check that out. I'll put a link down below. Whoa, look at this. Look at that original wall right there. It's all crumbled. And that right there is a view of the Hudson River. Pretty cool, right? I might try and send the drone out over the river. Get some shots. But this is what it looks like right here. And this is the view that the guests would have right out onto the Hudson River. You can see the bridge over there. Let me see if I can zoom in. See that? Look at that. I love seeing these ruins. There's like the old staircase that probably went up to the main building. Uh, this is just the ruins along the, I don't even know, like the main lookout area, I guess the front of the, the front of the hotel, I'm guessing. And I know off to the side over here, because I saw it the last time there was a, in looking for this tower, I thought this was it, but there's a tower down here that's basically fell over on its side, whether it's an old fire tower. But um, look at these views. And these views really aren't, th this is of course a view that I want to show you, but this isn't the view that I wanted to show you. The view that I want to show you is at the tower and I'm going to try and make my way over there. No, that's not it. That's actually an abandoned uh, power station over there. So depending on how motivated I am, I might go over there and show you that too. And, uh, I'll uh, link some pictures of what this place used to look like. It's pretty cool. It's some lost history overlooks the Hudson. Amazing. This is just off to the side, kind of following the wall of these hotel ruins. And this is just one shot of the Hudson from this vantage point. We have many more <laughs> We have many more miles to go and higher elevations and incredible views. So this is just like the first part of, or the first bit of like abandoned something or other that you're gonna see up here. You have the ruins that you first come across and then, oh my God, I'm so out of breath. And then you're coming up on this old power station. Is this open? Actually, hold on, let me put this here. Last time I was over here, you, you couldn't get in. It almost looks like it's open. Let's see. No, this thing's not open. Look at this thing. No, it's not open. But anyways, I can kind of show you what it looks like inside. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Really not too much to see, I guess. Just an old power station. Wow. Right, just checking back in, showing you some scenery and just kind of making my way. 
to the tower, I believe, and just gonna show you sometimes the trail isn't always flat and like woodsy. This is actually the trail up over these rocks. It's pretty steep, but it is kind of fun. It's starting to, the sun's starting to come out, so that's pretty good. And uh, we'll just continue on, see what we see. Something just caught my eye over here. I, am, I don't remember seeing this last time. This looks like the frame of a car or a truck or something out here. Not exactly sure how something would drive up here because as you can see, there's not really a path. Yeah, this is like some sort of uh, like um, truck or drive shaft of some sort of vehicle. Not too sure. Oh, check this out. Somebody must have came up here and made these um, rock formations. I guess they're called carns or something like that. They're supposed to be good luck or I don't know. They say you shouldn't do these things, you know, but they are cool to see, but it's, it's a mixed thing. Some people say you shouldn't do these things. You should just, because uh, it messes with the natural lay of the land, so to speak. I mean, I think it does look pretty cool though. Anyways, moving on. Still got a long way to go. All right, so I decided to go a different way instead of walking like all around by the dam and everything. I'm gonna go up a different way because I might try and do something else out here. But the red trail now turned to white and I just wanna let you know what this means. When you see three blazes like that, obviously there's a trail going this way. And when you see a blaze where one is higher than the other, that means it's a right-hand turn. Um, so this is the way, I believe, to the tower. And we'll see you when we get up there. Oh, well, guys, it's like a muddy, like, river from, like, this point out. Check that out. It's like a vein of quartz going right through that. But this is, like, the trail, and it's a river. And hopefully, um, getting to the tower, I wish I could actually show you I wish I could actually show you, but uh, the trees, you can't see it. Oh, it looks like something is there off in the distance. You can see, obviously, there's a couple of pillars with some rebar on it, so something was attached to that. I believe I am coming up to the tower. I feel like I've been climbing all day because um, I've been climbing all day, and um, I wish I could actually show it to you, but I... Oh. <laughs> Yeah, watch where you're going. But um, I guess I'll have to show it to you and I actually get around the corner and see it myself. So I guess continue on, continue up, and continue climbing. Oh, man. All right, so you can sort of kind of see right there, first image of that tower. It really is something to see, and I'm glad I can actually see it. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, and we just gotta keep on climbing. So up I go, up, up and away. Oh my God, I'm so out of breath, but that's like the, that's the first view that you get right there. And uh, you can see the tower is still a ways to go. And just wait till you see the views. Okay, I'm still climbing. As you can see, there's like little marks to follow the white blazes and it's extreme, extremely steep and rocky. And um, let's see, this way, okay. I am going to climb all the way to the top. I was extremely scared last time. I'll link that video down below. Um, very scary. And 
I basically went to the top in the last video, but I didn't really go to the very tippy tippy top. So let's see if I can do it. Oh my God, this is incredible. This is amazing. Let me show you this view. Hold on, let me hop up here. Whoa. Look at this. Wow. Just to give you a little perspective of where I am. That's the abandoned electrical place or electric. That's the abandoned electrical uh, power plant that it was at. The ruins are, the ruins are down there. I'll show you and wait till you see this view. Okay. These things are rickety as hell from what I remember. Whoa, from what I remember. Oh, that was just my walking stick falling. Oh man. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting that vertigo feeling. This whole thing is uh, kind of shaking. And, oh man. Oh, look at this. Okay. All right. Hear that? Hill. Okay. All right. All right. This thing's shaking. Okay. Oh man. I mean, it has to be safe, right? I mean, it would have to be. Oh, shh. It would have to be safe. I'm thinking this thing would have to be safe because they do have it here. And, uh, oh man, this is actually further than I've gone before and I'm almost uh, kind of at the top. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're just gonna keep on going. Gonna keep on going. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Oh, oh boy. All right, let me just like take a moment to check myself over here. <laughs> let me go over here and show you. See, that's the dam and uh, the water area that I came by last time. And over there is the ruins. Let's see if you can see that from here. Yeah, right over there. So this has been one heck of a hike. Beacon Incline Mountain Railway.